hello there and thanks for joining me today we're gonna do a red and green scrapbook layout today I had a real challenge finding red scrapbook paper that wasn't Christmas themed I, I don't have a whole lot of red scrapbook paper and almost all of it had like holly or Christmas wreaths or something like that on it Santa hats not, not even something that I could just borrow and pretend it's not Christmas but I did manage to find a couple of pieces from a, a color box pad, which my husband found at Walmart, ironically, for Christmas. And I was able to, to make use of some of those sheets for this layout. And I also uh, was able to kill some of my Prima scrapbook stash. I've got, I, I love Prima papers and I have a huge stash of Prima. So the first step was to trim down one of the Prima papers from, oh, what is that collection? Amelia Rose. So the line paper is from the Amelia Rose collection from Prima Marketing, and I trimmed it down to seven and a half by seven and a half. It's the A4 pad. And then I took another sheet from the six by six collection called Nature's Garden. This is the one, it's kind of a green toned postcard background paper. And I distressed the edges and inked them up with Barn Door. And before I started recording, I went ahead and put the, the title together. I started by writing birds in black. Uh, that's a black Tombow dual marker. And I just wrote it all in uppercase. And then I went and sketched in with a pencil, kind of like behind it, the word watching in more of a scripty hand. And then went over that with a red Tombow dual brush marker. And now I'm just gonna fussy cut out. Uh, the background paper was a, a green grid from the Echo Park Jack and Jill Boy paper pad. The six by six Jack and Jill Boy paper pad. Now I'm trying to figure out where to put my embellishments and I apologize for the focus. The camera kept going in and out of focus and I did not realize that it was going out of focus, but I've had this black camera embellishment in my stash for probably 12 years or more. I think it's a creative memories embellishment that a friend of mine gave me. I created this tag from the color box pad and I'm just going to add a an eyelet so that I've got a little bit of reinforcement to add a, a red ribbon and that other little white tag with a bicycle on there that is from a value pack that I got at Michael's a couple of years ago most uh, most of that collection was like yellow or mustard yellow and black but this one was just black and white and I added a couple of red bits to it Now I put the adhesive directly on the vellum because I knew I was going to cover it up. If the vellum was going to be exposed, I probably would have tried to find another way to stick the vellum down, but I wasn't worried about being able to see the adhesive through the vellum. This dimensional sticker is probably one of the oldest embellishments in my entire stash. I'm not sure where I got it. I don't know how long I've had it. Probably 10 years or more. And the, 
I think I, I edited out the part. It used to have an orange flower on it, and I just pulled that off because I wasn't going to use any orange on this layout. It was just going to look weird, but now there's a spot where there's was some adhesive, and I'm just going to cover that up with a little red and white houndstooth heart, and you'll see that in, in a few moments. The collection on the upper right side needed a little bit more black. There's black in all of the other embellishment clusters and there's black in the bird and it just needed a little, little bit of black in that upper right cluster. And here's that red and white houndstooth heart that I'm going to use to cover the uh, the adhesive. It's not going to stay there. It's going to move right there. And again, this is an embellishment that I've had for a long time. It's from a stamp collection by Artsy called Ventology. I think it's called The Sky's the Limit. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. But a couple of years ago, I just made a bunch of embe embellishments with that stamp set. And this is one of the last ones that I've got left. And to wrap it all up, I'm going to add some barn door distress spray splatters and call it good. Be sure to check out the description box below for a complete list of all the supplies used in today's video and also a link to the blog post which has a more complete description of the scrapbooking process. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.